Hey, thanks for joining me today. You're listening to The Sit Down with Roman Gray. Everything comes to an end. At some point in time, everything and everyone will end. If not everything, then definitely most things. So many people see the end as a bad thing. And I think movies are to blame for most of that. But the end isn't a bad thing. I think the end plays into the idea of forever that so many people cling onto. People associate the end with death or sadness. And that's not true. Every path we've ever taken and every endeavor we've ever done has an end. If everything went on forever, then there would be no motivation to get things done and no reason to improve. The knowledge that everything comes to an end is what gives me the urgency to live and be better. Knowing that tomorrow could be the last page in my book is what propels me to express myself and love others today not 10 years from now, and then still have it be a maybe. Rather than fearing the end, fear the idea of living a life where you could have accomplished something but didn't. The end is like a hint that says, nothing lasts forever, so I hope you enjoy it. You know, your high school career comes to an end, college comes to an end, friendships end, feelings end, And the list goes on. Along these points in time, there should be lessons learned, memories made, and life that was lived. Otherwise, what's the point in getting up every morning if you don't have something bigger to achieve? If your whole day consists of just doing the bare minimum and lazily going along in life, then I'm sorry if that's the case. The road that leads to the end can be beautiful and abundant, but that's up to the people who are going down that road. And there's more than enough room for everybody to go down these roads together. We don't need to fear change, beginnings, and ends. Things are always in a state of transition, if only we could realize it. That's a quote from the lovely Pema Chodron. We move at such a fast pace in life that we don't even realize when and how things changed. Why did they change? When did this thing end and this thing over here start? It's like we do so much and forget about so many people and forget about so many things that we just sort of rip through time, not even aware of it. But eventually everything ends. So, when the time comes, we're scared. We've been so caught up in ourselves that we find ourselves crashing into the walls of our own ignorance. At some point, we have to re-enter the atmosphere from our planes of ego, and, you know, that can get pretty rough. On the way down, we just sort of bounce off one another at such a speed that we ignite until we finally crash. And eventually, we burn out and cool, enough so that when it's time, we're ready to float again. We try so much to capture and freeze moments of our life instead of just accepting the ferocity and fleetingness that is the human existence. The fact that we have these constraints in life only feeds into us the potency of life and the things we do. You know, be glad that there is an end because it only leaves us with potential. And anything great has always been born out of possibility.